You're tuned to Nobidab TV, a Cape Verdean production. Welcome to our 20th medical mission to Cabo Verde. My name is Elizabeth Demora Moreira, Operations Director for Project Health CV. We are here at Hotel VIP, where we are co commemorating our 20th medical mission and coming together now and getting ready for work. But before that, I would like to introduce our president, Michael Kearney to say a few words about the organization, the history, where we came from, and where we are now. So in 2010, in November, I came to a beautiful place called Cape Verde, which was green, because only in November is this country green. And I was led here by my dear friends, Tina and Luis and Carla. And uh, this is the origin of this mission. And we've, we've had a lot of people come. We've had some stick and come back. Some have not come back. So I would like to thank our newest guests that are visiting here. And uh, I hope that in the future that everybody will come back again and again and again and find a passion project that is theirs. Find a way that you can help this country be better. And, and I, I enjoy it more than um, I make it better because I'm addicted. I love this country. I love the people. I love the joy that is here. And. Uh, this is a beautiful place, and we're all blessed to be able to be here. We're going to go around the table and introduce ourselves and who you are. And I'm going to start with this man here, who is the most subtle, <laughs> understated, most important person of this mission. I'm not. Well, my name is Emmanuel Moreira. I'm from Cape Verde. I do live in Cape Verde. And... Uh, well, thank you for everything that you have done for us here. Thank you. I have a bad knee. <laughs> Ernestina da Moura Moreira, Diretora Executiva de Project Health. Um, my country, my passion, and my friends who have made this their country and their passion. Thank you for being here, and thank you for supporting us. My name is Alexia, Alexia Kearney. I'm Michael Kearney's wife. Fifteen years ago, Michael came home and said that he had met some incredible people, and he wanted to go to Cape Verde to help out and see what he could do. And it's been 15 years of a journey of meeting amazing people and doing incredible things. We are very, very grateful to be connected to this country and to be able to continue to help in any way we can. So I'm Don Grebian. I'm fortunate enough to be the mayor of the city of Pawtucket and to be with this great group. This is my first time being here. Um, I was, I'll say, sucked in by Tina and Elizabeth some five years ago into the organization, but glad to be here and experience it myself and really commend all the hard work that everybody has put into this organization. My name's Michael Fine. I'm a family physician and public health guy and a little bit of a writer. Um, this is my second trip. Um, it is a huge honor to be here and to work with the people of Cape Verde, helping us understand um, what it's like to together build a healthcare system that's for people, not for profit. Um, something that Cape Verde is learning um, and that we in the United States are learning as well, a little too slowly. Thank you. I'm Angela Pizzari, and passion and love is what, you know, this is all about. And I see it um, through everybody's uh, smile and face. Uh, I thank um, 
Elizabeth, that suck me into this. <laughs> but um, hopefully to continue. And this is my second year. Thank you, uh, Project Health. <laughs> I'm Sean, Resurrection in Cabo Verde that everybody knows. And super, super glad that Medical Mission became Project Health in its 20th year of success for the people of Cabo Verde. Thank you all for doing this. All right, uh, my name is Victor Moreira. I'm uh, Tina's husband. Uh, everybody knows that I do what I can to help. I'm always available to help them out. All right, thank you. I'm Carla Mello, one of the uh, Tina's uh, daughters. <laughs> so um, I'm old enough to be almost her sister, but <laughs> she took me in. And I'm one of the founders of Project Health, and it's my passion to keep on working and do whatever I can for my brothers and sisters in Cape Verde. So I'm here, and I'll bring anybody I can um, to this organization with me. I'm Kelly Coelho. I'm from Brazil. I've been helping my best friend drive the truck, get all the donations, yeah. do the hard work. First time in the mission, and I hope I fall in love already, in love, and come back many, many more times. And um, my name is Belita Andrade, known from Brava, um, also known from Paula. I am a registered nurse. This is my second mission. I love it, and I want to keep coming and help Brava Praia, whatever you guys need me. Hi, my name is Florence. Um, this is my first year. I was born in Dakar, Senegal, but my parents are from Cape Verde. And I recall when I was five years old, people coming in the, in the village and saying, there's going to be free clinics coming, and we used to stand. We, we, the morning my grandparents took us, we used to stand in line for a couple of hours to get a vaccine. So I'm glad at this time I could give back. Right. Hello, I'm Nati. I am colleague of Liz Marrera. Um, this is my first year here, and I just want to be impactful and see what I can bring and help with this community. So. Uh, Mike Sweeney and uh, the, the Cabrito himself and uh, I uh, was trained by Michael and more importantly trained by Luis at the uh, at the BI and uh, I got invited on the trip and they haven't been able to get rid of me since so Thank you. Hi everyone my name is uh, Luis da Costa um, I've been uh, part of this mission since day one uh, with um, Every single medical Every mission, yes. 20. Um, Full 20. And, uh, you know, I, I, <laughs> I fell in love with the mission. I think most importantly, and um, um, I fell in love with the family. I fell in love with Tina. I fell in love with Shang. Um, and then I got to meet, the, you know, Victor and then the kids. And um, so this, what, you know, made me continue to do so. Uh, I think when, when you are trusted, um, you know, to leave your family behind and just come and bring a bunch of strangers um, to a place out of nowhere they've never been before, and they trust you at the same time, and you know, for you to guide them the right way and do the right things, uh, it just, you know, it, 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 it stays with you. I remember the first time when I went back, they asked me, why did you do this mission? Uh, why did you do it? I didn't know the answer, because I don't know. It's, one, it's something that you have to come and feel it in order for you to be able to describe it. And um, like I said, I've done all the mission. You know, I've been in love, man. I love these guys. I love Sweeney, I love Carney, and uh, like I said, I love Tina's family, I love Shang. Um, such amazing people, and uh, just to see more new people coming and just giving, um, you know, to my people and that I love so much, it just it, it makes me more passionate every day. So, hopefully, uh, you know, while the men above continue to give me the strength, I'm gonna keep on coming. So, all right. My name is Andrea. My name is Andrea. Que a organização de nós foi um melhor coisa que aconteceu na minha vida. This organization was the best thing that happened in my life. Para mim, de nunca esperava mais acontecer para mim e para minha filha. I did, I didn't know, I, I wasn't expecting it to happen to me and my, and my, my, my kid. Só para minha filha era bastante. 
Intenceu o agradecimento para. Deci am agradecement pe anios, încă te încomă de pagă cu ze că e să faze pe anio fiici. E cuză de freceu. Cuză de freceu. E principalmente de tine nu te-am grande considerație pe el, pe modi. Ele é um alguém que apoia bastante. Hello everybody. My name is Inez. Everybody knows me for my nickname is Lou. I'm the glue that holds that big guy together. <laughs> hello, hello. My name is Nelson Demora, and for a living, I go to school at Bishop McVinney. So Nelson Demora is uh, he goes to school at Bishop McVinney, and uh, he's going to be a doctor, right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Hello, my name is Romy Demora. I'm a freshman at St. Patrick's Academy in Providence, Rhode Island, and I'm here as a volunteer for Nomidad TV, as a, a cameraman for my uncle. Hi, my name is Desan Lopes. Uh, I'm in eighth grade at Khan Academy, and I'm working as a like cameraman with my grandpa and following this amazing crew of people. Yeah, that's, that's really all I have to say. I would like to talk about the most important man behind oh, this, boy. man behind the scene. He's been videoing everything Project Health CV has done for the last 15 years, and he, and he gets no credit. And you are the man. So tell us, well, tell us your perspective. Well, uh, I'm emotional, I can say much, but yes, I was lucky to be around when Project LCV came to Cape Verde for the first time. I, uh, I was able to record that, and I, I heard a word that was said not too long ago. Nobody that TV, TV has been the eye of Project LCV. I'm gonna say the word thanks to Carla for saying those words. And the other words that you say so beautifully um, the next thing I say, I'm the senior member of Nobdai TV that you see the new guys come in, hopefully they can take over and run it too. Thank you very much. Hi guys, uh, me again. I just wanted to mention, I'm not going to say every single name, but I want to mention also the other big part of Project Health CV, they are not here, they are working with us uh, together to make all this possible. Uh, the doctors in the hospital here in Cape Verde. I want to mention Sandra, uh, one of our members. She doesn't like to show her face, but she's uh, one of our biggest soul that helped us when we were able, Project Help was able to bring uh, Jamilson to United States. We needed somebody to take care of him. And she offered herself. She's our guardian angel. So thank you, Sandra. Thank you. We love you. Thank you all. My name is Hamilton. They say to. All I have to say is thank you to Project Help Health because they're helping Cap Verde, which we need. We definitely need on medication, education also, but medicine is the more, more important. Thanks to the group, especially. Donna Tina, and the rest, I have nothing else to say. Keep doing the good work. And Elizabeth. Thank you for cleaning us. Huh? Thank you for That's nothing. Us. The oh, thing is, I'm always, I will always be blessed. I'm a little shy, because what you're doing for Cap Verde. For me, it's OK. But for Cap Verde, we need more help. We do. Thank you.
Hey, I'm Kara Crisofoli, and uh, I'm a physical therapist. This is my second time here. Um, did it right in November, right before COVID, and didn't get a chance to come back, and here I am again. Um, getting to do a little bit more inpatient and acute care physical therapy this time, as opposed to last time we were on a more exploratory trip. So it's kind of fun um, doing this and seeing what my friend Desidio does in his setting and being able to come and help. And I'll be back. Hello, my name is Manuela Alicea. Um, is it the third time I'm going to mission? The uh, first time I'm going to do Vapa Brava, Dispos Fogo, Dispos Ben Praia. Is because the first two times I'm going to do Vapa Quest, when you ask me to do is basically in the biomedical engineer com materiais que eu mando para ali para distribuir para que o uh, departamento que tem ali no hospital. Good afternoon, my name is John Camara and this is my fourth mission. Um, I do help out with the bioengineering portion, which is the equipment in the operating room and organizing all the donations that I sent to Cape Verde. And with our team, we separate everything and organize it and our challenges is every year to find out what are their needs so we can go back to the U.S. and keep the donations coming. It really helps Cape Verde and it's wonderful and great people and great environment. Thank you. My name is Ines Cabral Gonçalves. I'm a volunteer for Project Health um, Cabo Verde. Dostali na missão is a in your quatu missão lina cabo verde and stali kuseli e cogusinho um e jam tinha privilege de trabalhar com as lina na raixis antes um já se nota mas como mestre né um máquina que se novo lima anta das um chance para para pia um cozinha para frano um como de um coisa que está fazer ali e mais e para dar um cozinha de informação um de sobre Okay. Uh, meu nome é Célia, uh, licenciada em radiologia na, na Portugal, uh, meu responsável também de serviço ali de radiologia e nesse momento li não só com equipamento novo uh, que está facilitando fazer teu exames que antes nunca eu conseguia fazer eu, com aquele equipamento que não tinha que já estava mais antigo não tinha e está limitado nos um bocadinho com certos tipos de exames, mas com aquele uh, equipamento novo ali já, não tem nada a fazer cheio, exames que a gente nunca está fazendo, e que é importante para nós, para nós hospital, para onde não está abrange sete municípios ali da de, de Ilha de Santiago, então tudo que esse paciente de que os municípios é para ali que está bem. Então, para nós, uh, é muito importante está com aquele aparelho novo ali, não está tinta mais, uh, motivação também no trabalho, mas qualidade para exames, para, para nosso paciente também. Então, uh, foi muito importante. Yeah. Ali não tem limitações em materiais de mobilização, principalmente para crianças, ou tercepção, crianças ali, para fazer radiografia. Então, não tem alguns e... e limitação com, com que essa uh, materiais de mobilização, mobilização de, de pacientes acidentados, traumatizados, uh, de crianças também e alguns equipamentos também de materiais de proteção, em termos de proteção que ela tem um bocadinho de, de falta, mesmo questão de dosímetro que é um aparelho que é essencial, que é obrigatório, técnico usar Hi, uh, my name is Florence Dolivamento. I'm from, um, originally from um, Dakar, Senegal. I live in um, Providence, Rhode Island. Um, I'm a registered nurse at one of the hospitals in Rhode Island. Um, today is my first mission here in um, so Somalia, Somalia, um, Cabo Verde. Um, I'm just very grateful to be here, giving back to my um, my people, helping out. Um, it has been a great experience. Um, the um, mission was a great experience. It helped us with answer any question we need, and um, I felt very 
I felt like a family being the first year doing this. And I thank the mission to help, um, to have me here. Boa tarde, minha nome é Margot. Minha profissão na marca é Medical Assistant e Patient Account Representative. E que ali é a primeira vez que me também permissão com o Project Health CV. E estou já aqui projeto Health CV de fazer um bom serviço ali na Cabo Verde. E te esperar que uma outra vez que não está bem, não está ser mais forte e mais unido e para não poder ajudar nós povo ali na Cabo Verde. Hi, my name is Lorena Barros. I am a home care nurse and I also do IT. This is my first mission with Project Health TV and I love what they do and I plan on coming back again. So on this mission, I basically just, I didn't play a role as a nurse, but I assisted with distributing the, um, the, equip, the stuff that we sent prior and I also helped the translating at this at this time, I am looking forward for the next trip that I could do more. Well, uh, my name is Amos Adelawa. I'm a urogynecologist um, based out of Massachusetts. And um, I, this is my eighth uh, mission with Project LK Verde. So I've been coming for the past eight years. And um, yeah, it's always great to be back in Asomara and back seeing patients and doing surgery here. And um, this week has been, it's, a, it's been a short week compared to our other missions, but it's also been a productive week. We did see a lot of patients in clinic and we also did some surgeries um, that went well. It was great to be back with Dr. Ludmilde, who was the director here, um, seeing patients with her and doing surgeries with her. And it's also been a pleasure to work with a lot of new volunteers with Project Health Cape Verde this year that have been very helpful to us, um, seeing patients and taking care of patients. So, so once again, it's been a great week, a great mission, and we're looking forward to coming back next year. Hello, I'm Dr. Judith McNicholas. I work with Amos, and we are in Massachusetts. I'm also a urogynecologist and do general gynecology as well. I was very lucky this year to be invited to join the group and we've seen a lot of gynecologic patients and done some surgery. I've had a wonderful time. The people are very nice. The group I'm working with are wonderful to work with. The local physicians and as support staff are very competent and the patients were lovely. So I hope I can come back next year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Olivia Bastian. I'm here as a volunteer for CV Project Health and I go to a nursing school I'm here to um, uh, volunteer and um, watch the nurses and therapists and take pictures and videos to make projects at my school. And yeah. Okay, my name is Lucille Furtado. I participate in the Health Civic Cocao Verde. Eu não participo ali por uns canto tempo, mas gosto para a primeira vez não ter pedido para mais alguém junta para participar, para colaborar. Que cada vez mais te virá mais grande, que, que também para ajudar também com alguns depoimentos, com alguns coisas que também se né, que é ali na Cal Verde, que é sem necessidade. Se não estudo no pomo, eu te virá mais grande, eu te virá mais forte. Meu nome é Viviane da Moura, minha fonoaudióloga, na inglês é speech therapist. Estou um, ali no Hospital Santiago, uh, no Hospital Regional Santiago Norte, e tem presença de que as de, de que as uh, participantes né, desse projeto que é tão importante para a saúde de Cabo Verde uh, foi excepcional, né? Não teve um monte de materiais que antes nunca até podia tinha e né, não proporcionado muitos materiais além disso que ela ajuda né e presença de especialistas foi excepcional então de próxima vez que tenha um speech therapist ali com nós né 
e no poder trabalho junto cada vez mais e que tenha mais uh, voluntários para esse trabalho tão excepcional. É sim, meu nome é Dulcídio Ferrer, é fisioterapeuta ali, já há muito tempo ali na Santiago Norte. Meu trabalho junto de projeto real tem sido a coordenação da equipa para a zona, para a zona de Assomada, onde que a gente faz aquela interligação entre pessoal de projeto real e funcionários ali do hospital. É, significativamente não tem sido tem uma evolução bastante bom ao longo de, de nossa carreira de nosso tempo que não tem passado junto e eu queria agradecer só a comunidade e a tudo quem que apoia porque que esse projeto ali vai para mais para frente apoia também a equipa que esteve ali comigo agradeço a fisioterapeuta que bem ali mais um ano para bem lista com nós ele bem ele ganha um bocadinho de experiência não fazer uma troca de experiência Teve tchau coisa que antes nunca nunca te fazia, que ele bem ele começa a te explicar. A nível de material também, não recebe bons donativos e que os donativos de nos pode acreditar que está a ser feito o bom uso dele. Uh, no Salina Hospital Regional, Dr. Santa Rita Vieira, na mais uma missão de projeto Health CV. Minha nome é Ludmilde Pina Tavares, a minha é médica ginecologista obstetra, mas nesse momento com o cargo de Presidente do Conselho de Administração do Hospital. Ok. Uh, doutora Jaqueline Carvalho, uh, médica, endocrinologista, uh, uh, função de diretora clínica do hospital. Uh, agradecer à equipa em Health CV uh, pela colaboração das várias vindas para o nosso hospital, muito prestativo. Uh, vou passar a palavra à doutora Ludmila, da PCA, para que... É, o hospital só tem a agradecer para mais essa missão. E, e foram apenas quatro, cinco dias, sim, mas que era para obter pacientes e também não consegui fazer alguns procedimentos cirúrgicos. E não te lembra também, mas além de missão bem com parte de ajuda no atendimento de doentes, mas também mas não recebe um contentor de 40 pés, com vários materiais que também sirvem o hospital. Por isso, em nome do hospital, só não tenta agradecer a toda a equipa, para a disponibilidade, a tudo que o pessoal também que está na organização, para que tudo que usa corre direito e não te espera para a próxima missão. Thank you very much.